To other news now, on November 30 last year, Eritrean soldiers massacred 164 civilians in the town of Dengolat in Ethiopia's Tigray region one day after a major Orthodox uh, holiday. Survivors and relatives uh, wailed showing pictures, mass graves and ropes used to the victims before their execution. The killing was one of the worst incidents of civilian suffering in the ongoing conflict in Tigray where the Ethiopian government launched a military operation and unseated the long-running TPLF. Take a look. In the Ethiopian region of Tigray, survivors of last November's massacre, which saw Eritrean soldiers kill 164 civilians in the town of Dengalet, are still reeling from the experience. Bayanesh lost her husband, two sons, and two nephews. <laughs> I would rather die than have lived to see this, but I can't take my own life. <laughs> Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's government tightly restricted humanitarian and media access to the region. And for nearly three months, Dengalat residents were unable to recount what had happened to them. This kind of crime is to exterminate us, to humiliate us, to make us less than them. Mm -hmm. The massacre took place in the wake of a military operation launched by the Prime Minister on November 4th to overthrow the powerful Tigray People's Liberation Front. Officials from Ethiopia and Eritrea deny that Eritrea's military is present in Tigray. But people in the region say there's no mistaking the nationality of the perpetrators. In addition to their accents, they cited facial scars specific to Eritrea's Ben Amir ethnic group.